This is example 3.6 on page 104 of our textbooks. Um, and here they're asking us to name the compound PBCL4. So remember, before we start naming anything, um, we need to make sure we recognize what type of compound it is. So PB in this case is lead, it is considered a metal, and CL is chlorine, it's considered a nonmetal. So here we have an ionic compound. So remember, for ionic compounds, you have two choices. The metal forms one type of ion only. We go this way. And if the metal can form more than one type of ion, we go this way. So lead, although technically not a transition metal, is a metal then that can have more than one type of ion. So if you look at the table displayed here, table 3.3, here are all of the different types of metals that can adopt multiple charges. You got chromium, iron, cobalt, copper, tin, mercury, and at the bottom we have lead. So lead can either be in the plus two, two plus, or four plus ionic state. So for our compound, we have to figure out what ion type lead is. Is it four plus or is it two plus? And depending on which one it is, that's gonna influence how we name it. We have to, in this case, add a Roman numeral in parentheses right after the name of our metal to indicate what charge it is, since it could have more than one charge. So the way you figure this out for compounds like this is we have to take um, clues from the compound and clues from an ion that always forms a similar charge. So chlorine in this case, we know as an ion, chlorine adopts a one minus charge. It becomes Cl minus. So since we have four chlorines, we have four times minus one. That means we have a total four minus charge that we have to neutralize in order to get a neutral compound. Remember, anytime we have a compound, it's gotta be neutral. So if we have four chlorines, each with a minus charge, they're contributing four minus to the overall charge, which means in order to cancel that four minus out, lead has to be four plus. So it's in the, and I know that's a little hard to see, the four plus um, ion state. So now that we have established this, we can go about naming the compound. So if we go down here to our flowchart and look at our rules, it's the name of the cation, aka the metal. So it's going to be lead. And then we have to indicate what charge it is by writing the charge in Roman numerals. So if this was lead two plus, we would write two lines next to each other. Since this is lead four plus, the Roman numeral for four is IV. So it's lead, parentheses, IV, that means four. And when you're writing this, technically um, there's no space after lead. It's just lead, parentheses, IV, close parentheses. And then we have a space, and then we write the name of our anion. So this is chlorine as an ion. Remember, we play, replace that ione ending with IDE. So chlorine as an ion becomes chlor. Eyed. So therefore, the name of this compound is lead 4, that's how you would say that, lead 4 chloride. And that's how you name an ionic compound that contains a metal that can have more than one charge.